math time. Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about the six trigonometric ratios. Solving a right triangle given the length of the hypotenuse and the measure of one acute angle. Solving a right triangle given the length of the hypotenuse and the measure of one acute angle. So like for example number one, given the triangle XYZ, find the length of side X side z and the measure of angle x so here is our illustration we have triangle x y z with angle y as our right angle so from the given you have okay so the given here is the side opposite to our right angle so meaning this is our hypotenuse so that would be side y is equal to 39 units so that is our hypotenuse and of course we also have here the measure of angle z which is 40 degrees and what we are asked here to find is the lens of side x okay and of course this one here that is the length of side z as well as the measure of angle x so measure of angle x okay so how are we going to find this one again from here we're asked to solve right triangles given only the hypotenuse and one acute angle so this angle here which is given as 40 this is an acute angle and we have the hypotenuse which is 39 okay so to solve let's solve first okay for uh, letter a let us solve for the length of side x Okay, based from the illustration, we have side X and we have also the given that measure of angle Z is 40 and we have the hypotenuse. So we, uh, among the six trigonometric ratios, which one are we going to use? Yes, you are right. We have here uh, X would be considered as our adjacent side and that is what we're looking for. And we have the given measure of angle and the hypotenuse so we'll be using ka that's correct that is ka meaning cosine so meaning cosine of 40 degrees is equal to adjacent so that is our x okay over the hypotenuse that is the 39 okay so cross multiply Remember that this is over 1. So meaning x times 1, you would have it here. x is equal to multiply cosine 40 degrees to 39. You would have 39 times cosine 40 degrees. Using your calculator, we have here. Okay. So press cosine. Then 4, 0 equals that will give us 0 0.766044 all right so therefore you have 39 times 0 0.7660 so we'll just end up there okay four digits then multiply by 39 so times 39 okay there you go so the answer is 29.8757332A. We'll just uh, round it up to two digits. So therefore, we have 29. Point, that is 88. Okay, so that is 29.88 units. Okay, so this is now the length of our side X. Okay, there you go. So we're done solving for the length of 
side x so meaning this is 29.88 units and let's move on to the next problem that we're going to find that is the length of side z okay same pattern that you're going to do make use of the given 40 and 39 so therefore uh, how do we call z with respect to the angle 40 that is opposite and this one is your hypotenuse so therefore you'll be using okay so so you'll be using sine so for solution b solve for side z okay so using sine or saw so sine 40 degrees is equal to okay again so opposite of the angle that is z over the hypotenuse which is 39 okay so to solve same pattern that we have here we have to multiply or cross multiply so we have z is equal to 39 times sine 40 degrees okay so using your calculator therefore you have uh, what is sine 40 sine 40 okay that gives us 39 times 0 0.6428 okay you got it so times 39 therefore you would have here the length of side z is 25 point i'm sorry so 25 point that is 0 0.6687 so we'll round it off to two digits so 0 7 okay so that is our side z so that is 25.07 units okay so we're done with this one so this means this is 25.07 units okay so let's find it out also the the measure of angle x that is very easy remember that the uh, the totality measure of the angles of one right triangle or any triangle is equal to 180 degrees so since this is already 90 degrees we have 40 degrees so that's very easy or you could have that angle Z and angle X are complementary angles so to solve for that one you would have it here okay solve for measure of angle X so since they are complementary angles, the, uh, that means that measure of angle X is just equal to 90 degrees minus the measure of angle Z. Angle Z. So knowing that measure of angle Z is 40 degrees, so therefore 90 degrees minus 40 degrees. And that's very easy. That will give us 50 degrees. That's the measure of angle X x again in our problem here we have the given the hypotenuse and one acute angle that measures 40 degrees and we are asked to find the unknown sides we have side z and side x and of course in addition to we have measure of angle x is that clear now so we have here All right, let's move on to example number two. Triangle SPA is a right angle at P. If side P in this illustration is 27 centimeter and the measure of angle A, so we have here angle A, is equal to 58 degrees. Find the length of side S. Okay, so where is side S? So opposite to this one, that would be S. And of course, side A. So this one. Okay. And of course, we are also asked for the measure of angle S. So this one here. Okay, again, let's write the given. So from the given, we have side P is equal to 27 centimeter. 
and the measure of angle A is equal to 58 degrees. We are asked to find the length of side A, length of side S, and of course, the measure of angle S. Okay, which one do you think uh, we're going? Uh, it would be very easy for us to solve. Okay, so we could have, it's gonna be up to you actually. So let's start with how to find the length of side A. Okay, solve for. Okay, solve for side uh, side A. All right. So again, we're talking about side A, and the given is the angle, and of course our hypotenuse, which is twenty-seven. So among the six trigonometric ratios, we could use what? That is opposite over hypotenuse so meaning when you say opposite over hypotenuse so you'll be using so okay so okay so we have a uh, sine 58 degrees equals opposite that is side a over 27 as our hypotenuse okay cross multiply that would be A is equal to 27 sine 58. Okay, using your, cal uh, your calculator, we have sine 58. Okay, that is equivalent of, you have 0 0.84, 80. Okay, so we have 27 times 0 0.8480. Okay, four digits. Then multiply it by 27. So equals tw times 27. So that is 22.89. Round it up to 22.90. So that is 22.90. Uh, what's the unit? Add ah, that centimeter. Okay, so side A is 22.90 centimeter all right now let's move on to our side s so solve for side s okay so same we have side s with respect to the given angle 58 and hypotenuse as the given so adjacent over hypotenuse so you'll be using ka okay so meaning cosine 58 degrees is equal to the adjacent which is S again we have cosine 58 is equal to S that is our adjacent over the hypotenuse that is 27 so to simplify it out cross multiply you would have side S so we have it here then cross multiply that is 27 cosine 58 degrees so with your calculator again we have cosine 58 is equal to so that is 27 times 0 0.5299 okay so multiply by 27 so that is equal to 14 point uh, two decimal places so that is 31 units or what's the units that centimeter so meaning side s is equal to 14.31 uh, centimeter okay so how about the measure of angle s oh, that's very easy so to solve for that one solve for measure of angle s Again and again, that angle A and angle S are complementary angles. So meaning, the measure of angle S is equal to 90 degrees minus the measure of angle A. So since the measure of angle A is 58, right here. So that is 90 degrees minus 58. So you have... 90 minus 58 so that will give us 32 degrees so that's the measure of angle s all right so from here 
the hypotenuse is 27 and the uh, acute angle is 58 we found out that the measure or the length of side A this one here is equal to 22.90 centimeter while side S is equal to 14.31 centimeter and looking for the measure of angle S you found, we found out that that is 32 degrees is that clear now okay there you go all right 